Greetings, this is Father Rock O'Connor. I'm an associate pastor here at the Church of the Jesu, and grateful to be here. In this video, I want to start a series on, the, uh, on my own book to help people work their way through it. This is the book, In the Midst of Our Storms, LTP. Check it out. In this book, in chapter one, you'll find a challenging chapter because it's very dense. So what I want to do here is begin um, a discussion that will lead into it. It's called the contours of the Paschal Mystery. The Paschal Mystery is a term that's used often in liturgy, eh, often enough. It's at least used in the theological uh, introductions to each liturgical ritual about this is what we encounter, this is the, you know, the, the, the church encounters the Paschal mystery. So what is that? Um, in this section, what I wanna do is use uh, some ideas from Father Robert Taft, a Jesuit from New York province, who uh, is retired now, but one of the great liturgical scholars in the world and has been for a long time. His primary interest was in the, uh, the Eastern rites, the Orthodox and Greek and Russian Orthodox and such. But the man's knowledge was vast and deep. In, an art, in a, what's, what's a chapter in his book, Beyond East and West, it's a collection of essays, uh, he has a chapter called, um, What Does Liturgy Do? The Soteriology of Liturgy. What does it do? And in it, he talks about liturgy in the following manner, and I think this will be helpful to get a sense of aspects of the Paschal mystery that I'm gonna to wanna to speak about. So first of all, the liturgy of the new covenant is Jesus Christ. We hear discussions about the heavenly liturgy, and at least I imagine, you know, the, the, you got the choir over here, and you got the angels over there, and you got, uh, Jesus at the altar and stuff like that. That doesn't work for me. What Taft is saying here, along with St. Paul, is it's a person, the risen Christ, who's at the right hand of the Father, who is the liturgy of the new covenant. Secondly, he says, Christian liturgy, our worship services, liturgical celebrations, is one, Christian liturgy is one privileged ground of the divine encounter between human beings and God in the Paschal mystery. It is one revelation of God's saving presence among us in the world today. You can go out to the sea, you can go out to the mountains, you can go down by the lake, you can do all kinds of stuff. Look at the trees during, in the autumn and encounter the graciousness and beauty of God. What Taft is saying is that its um, liturgy is one privileged ground of this encounter. It's not the only one, but it's one central one. Some of his main points begin now. Liturgy is not a thing, but a meeting of persons. It's about encounter. It's about persons meeting and establishing relationships and furthering relationships. The celebration and the expression of an experiential relationship, our relationship to God and one another in Christ through the Holy Spirit. That really works for me. It's not about doing things, but it's about encounter. Number four, the basis and source of this grace-filled encounter is the death and resurrection of Jesus. Therefore, and this is, a, this is where he gets into talking about the Paschal mystery, all Christian liturgy plays out the single root metaphor of the Paschal mystery. 
the disclosure or the revelation or the unveiling to those who enter it in faith of ultimate reality, the final and definite meaning of all creation and history and life. This is more than just learning how to be a better person. It's about the encounter with the Paschal mystery, the life and death and resurrection of Jesus, which is the source of our liturgy. And the encounter reveals to us the meaning of ultimate reality. So you might want to cogitate on that a little bit. But I hope that that's a, a, a helpful intro. Well, I'm going to take up, as I took up in the book, in chapter one, are five points, that's five, five points that um, I see as key to understanding the Paschal mystery. So I invite you to keep tuning in. God bless and Church of the Jesus.